Are you getting it back? I don't know. Hey, Daddy! Get Watch this. this! In relationships with your cat? I have a relationship with my cat. <laughs> We just finished breakfast and this little guy right here is grumpy today. Oh, now he's gonna be happy. What's on your... He has struggles today. He is just went to bed too late. Okay, I'll get you baby milk. And he wants to go swimming. Who's on your swimsuit? Is it Maui? What do you say? Okay, let's get baby milk. So this, here's the regular bottles and a tiny bottle and that's what he wants. Baby milk is what he's saying. These guys are super excited to go swimming. They're so excited that they don't want to listen to me either. I have to tell each of them like five times before they actually acknowledge that I'm talking to them. All right, cuties, are you ready to go swimming? Mm -hmm. All right, let's get the sunblock applied. Okay, we, were, we went to the pool thinking that was open and then we got all our stuff, everyone was ready. The hour long of getting ready, we all had sunscreen on, and then we went there, and it said it's closed till tomorrow. Who does that? I mean, why couldn't they do it like the week right after? It was closed for repairs, even though it looked totally fine, it was closed for repairs. But we're just gonna, we got changed, well we have some sit underneath this, um, and we're gonna go to the Children's Museum. I'm just glad it's not the entire vacation. It's oh my gosh, vacation. if that was it, I would be, I would jump the fence. I would chop I would jump the fence. <laughs> but we're gonna go to the Children's Museum and the splash pad right next to it. Did you hear the news? What? The pool is closed. Like for real? They said that there's a big lock on the pool and it's closed until tomorrow. Are you serious? <laughs> yes. I was joking about that yesterday. <laughs> Why do you hate this song? Why do you hate this song? It's terrible. She hates things that she does. Like, she hates Let's listen to it. I will tell you if I agree or not. Do you like the song or not? I don't know if I like it. It's just not a terrible song. I like it. I like it. Allie started to Addie sing it. and Danielle like it. I like it, yeah. It's annoying. And Allie started this right there, this is Addie Bascom. She's our great friend and they come to St. George with us all the time. Since the pool was closed today for repairs and we didn't know about it, we decided to do something else and bring the kids to the Children's Museum and Splash Pad. So they'll still be able to get wet and be able to play and, uh, and I think they'll have lots of fun. We actually typically come here anyway, but we just weren't planning on doing it today. We've had enough of the Children's Museum and it is uh, close to 100 degrees outside and there's still no pool for us. So we're gonna go to the splash pad and Canyon's out of here. Canyon, we gotta change your He's diaper. He's like, I wanna play the water, I wanna play the water, I wanna play the water. We gotta change your diaper first. The kids are all wore out. In fact, they're hotter than they were before after playing in the splash pad. Canyon lost his shorts. <laughs> and so we're gonna go hit a place called Swig where you get drinks that are mixed with all sorts of fun stuff. And then we're gonna head back and probably let little kids get a nap. Because the pool's closed, we'll probably do something inside again. Maybe Pizza Pie Cafe. Maybe Az's favorite place in the whole entire world. Right. Thank you. You too. We ran over to the pool to go see what time it opens in the morning because we're gonna go early in the morning. And we looked and Addie's like, hey, what if it's open? And she's just like pretending and we're like, 
it's probably not. It's probably not open. And she's like, yeah, and then we go to the sign. The sign's gone, and we all just stand there like this. We look at the top, and the walk around is gone. And so we run home, which I'm still out of breath. We run home in the hot, 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 and um, we're like, how about we just make food? So now we're just figuring out what we're gonna do for food. The pool is finally open. We had dinner, and the kids are over swimming already. So we're gonna go see what fun things they're doing. They have the key, so Savannah's gotta come open the door for me to get into the pool house. Why, thank you, Hello. little mermaid. You're welcome. All right, look at this scenario. It is something that I don't know if it has ever happened to us before. Can you see Canyon right there? Look at him swimming right there. Az is right there, there's Johnny. The big kids are right here. The little kids are swimming around. So usually when we come swimming, we have the stroller and the baby and the floaty and then the baby gets tired of being at the pool and so we have to go back. One child is just sitting on the steps, but today they're all swimming. All of them are just doing their own thing and swimming. And that hasn't happened to us, I think, ever. Hey, Daddy, what's this? Apple juice, that's a... That's a tiny star. I mean, a starfish. That's a starfish. It's not apple juice. <laughs> underwater. Why? Because my ear might be infected. Like I might have an ear infection. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. again. Nope. So you were asking if you were going to get this back. Are you going to get back? I don't know. <laughs> Danielle is so funny. Do you remember the conversation that we had that if she would just ask to get the apps, you'd probably get them. Remember that conversation? Yeah. Remember the conversation about her also asking if she can watch YouTube and she probably would have been able to, but... I didn't ask and that's so sweet. <laughs> And you were supposed to do something else. That's right. I forgot about that. So she got her phone taken away, obviously. And here it is. It's been used since that point by someone who's been using this phone. I did. Seriously? <laughs> you snuck and used your phone? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because it was in there. And my mom told me that it was in there. And it had 21 text messages. How did you know it had 21 text messages if, it, if you just left it alone? Because there were text me there was a ton of text messages on the front and so I slid it and there were 21. She just can't resist. So she probably would have had her phone back by now if not for... If I didn't go and check. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Sarah said, well if you need your phone for an emergency, obviously it's right here. So here we are again having the conversation again. And we're all laughing and it's funny and everything, but seriously though, like you, this could be back in your hands again if we would just... I know. If you could just control your I'm temper! Sorry. If you didn't tell me then, if you never told me that I wouldn't get into it. But what if there was an emergency? Then How would could run you down to the pool? Okay, there are so many comments though, and there probably will be on here, saying that we don't trust Danielle. Truth is, do we trust you? I don't know. See? <laughs> the truth is, we do trust her, but we don't trust... How do I put this? You don't trust me. We do trust her. She's the one who breaks the trust by going against Will. So you don't trust me. That's not true. So it's weird because like if she, if we say, hey, you can do this and you can do this and you can do that and you can do this, but there's only one rule, she goes and finds that rule and she breaks it. I'm sorry. That's not actually a good trait to be no, carrying not. around with you. I know. Because you're going into teenage years and you could be doing all sorts of crazy stuff and only doing it because we made a rule. We don't want to make all these rules and keep her from doing stuff. We totally want to just give her her agency to do whatever she'd like to do. I won't break other rules, just follow rules. Like getting on to it. That's what I did. Stay on the rules. 
We'll see about that. Okay, so here's the deal though. Danielle is not getting her phone back right now. Not today. Not today. Oh, man. Do You'll get, get it back? Tomorrow? Maybe tomorrow, maybe. What do you guys think? Tell us in the comments below what you think. I know a lot of you are gonna say, she deserves a phone, all that stuff. Actually, nobody deserves anything. I don't deserve a phone. I think you have to work for it. It's a responsibility. It's something you have to be. The phone probably deserves mm -hmm. a phone. Right? It's not something that somebody deserves. <laughs> it's not a right. It's a privilege. It's not a right. It's not a right. We don't have a right to have a phone. It's a privilege to have a phone. And they're responsibilities. Just like driving a car. I know it's not the same. It doesn't have wheels. It can kill somebody. But it's a, it's a, it's a, it's not a right. You don't. It, I don't have a right to have a phone just because I turned 13. Right? It's a responsibility. And with responsibilities, you have rules. So, anyway. All right, no phone, and it's not because of me. It's not because of her. Not because we're mean and who's it because be mean. of? It's because of me. Okay, and and it's not like you text anybody, right? You didn't text. You did text. Who, did you did you text somebody? I texted one person. It was her aunt. She texted her aunt, which is my not a big deal, right? My closest relative that is in my family. And you know what? That doesn't. That's not what. That's not the reason why we're not giving it back. She was specifically told to what? Only use it for emergencies. You should have used it for emergency. No. no, no, that, that is even not worse. Have to happen. You I think should, it should, should have to happen. No, she should use her agency to make good choices, right? We shouldn't have to lock things down and, and do all that, right? You should be able well, to. Know. Guess what? Emergency. With Allie's phone, we're not going to have to have these problems. You know that. I know because Allie knows how to use her agency. I know because she's the good one. No, that. No. Oh, are you saying you're the bad one? No, I'm just saying the less good one. I'm the less. It <laughs> Seriously, I don't even know where this is going right now. Okay, well, <laughs> you're She's more obedient. Allie is more obedient than yeah. you. Yeah. Okay, well, confessions of Danielle <laughs> here. Well, it's true. Confessions of a teenage drama queen. Not Actually, drama. she's That's not a drama Allie. queen. That's Allie. Okay, so here we go. Phone is staying in my position for, and there is one who's watching this that is texting way too much, and you know who you are. Simmer down, dude. Simmer down. <laughs> right? We all know who it is. Oh, she just said it. <laughs> Call me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh. Simmer down, Saucy. Simmer down. She's all good. <laughs> if you want to know that Danielle's doing okay, just watch the vlog. She's doing just fine. She's still I'm dying here. She's still My alive. Face is peeling She's thriving. Off. She's happy. She I is making it through her are life you? without a cell phone. Yeah, are you I doing alright? Are you guy. like are you angry about it? No. Are you what? Do you think it's unfair? No. What do you think it is? I think it's... What is over there that you keep looking at? I don't know. I just keep looking over there. Okay, so what? You don't think it's unfair? What do you think it is? I think it's... Do you think it's silly it's... that we keep the phone away from you? I don't know. Then what do you think? I don't know. I think I deserve it. She likes to break the rules. I, she's so enjoying fun. this. I really do. What do you guys think? In the comments below, what do you think? Should we give it back to her tomorrow? Should we go back to her the next day? I kind of have it in my brain on when it's going to happen. Sarah does too. I don't. But the next time, you know there's rules to this situation, I right? <laughs> Prove to us that you can that we can leave it in your possession. You're not gonna go and open it up and play with it, and then you'll get it back. Trust is given to you right out of the gate. Trust is given to you right out of the gate. You earned it because you didn't do anything wrong. But as soon as you break trust, what happens? And you have to earn it back, right? Oh, yeah. Comments below. Let us know if we're just being the most terrible, worst parents in the entire world. <laughs> Which I don't believe we are. Uh. We're trying to teach Danielle responsibility and, and trust. Trust in every relationship is the most important thing in the world, isn't it? Mm -hmm. In marriage, in brothers and sisters, in relationships with your coworkers, in relationships with your cat. I have a relationship with my cat. <laughs> <laughs> trust is the most important. Like if, anyway, we shouldn't get into this any further, but trust is the most important thing and it has to be part shirt. of everything. Okay, Danielle, what? no matter what, you are worth it. Ah, you are See, worth you it. are we worth it. You. Still beautiful as ever, gorgeous as ever. You're still our favorite 13 Just don't year old. have a phone right now. <laughs> okay, what do you want to say? We love you guys. You, you are, are worth, worth it. it. Bye.